All right. Good morning and welcome back to the 2021 <laughs> PGA Championship here at the Ocean Course in Kiowa Island, South Carolina. We are very, very pleased to be joined by two-time PGA Champion Brooks Kepka. Brooks, uh, welcome back to your ninth P career PGA Championship. Uh, maybe not the typical uh, uh, PGA Championship golf course, but what about the Ocean Course excites you and what, what uh, maybe facet of it gives you a little bit of pause? I like it. I think there's um, a lot of options off the tee where uh, maybe driver isn't exactly the play. Um, but if you can fit it up there um, and not kind of put it in the rough, it's it's a big advantage. Um, you know, you're going to miss quite a few greens, especially if this wind's blowing. Um, and you could leave yourself some difficult chips around the green, so you got to be real tidy around there. But I really like this golf course. I think it sets up really well for me and um, I'm excited. All right, let's hit the ground running here. Uh, <coughs> questions for Brooks. All right, well, let's go to number six, Alex. Well, first thing is, is just to get an understanding of your health and how you feel, and is there anything that you feel you can't necessarily do on the golf course? No, I feel like I can hit every shot. It's not, it's not like Augusta where I'm trying to figure out what's the best line to walk instead of figuring out what, you know, now I can actually hit golf shots. I understand what's going on. Um, you know, for a while it was just a neglected putting, just to see if I could hit shots. Because if I can't hit shots, can't play. So no point in that. But now I got everything under control. Um, I know what uh, know what I'm doing. And you know, last week was a good test just to see where I'm at for two days. Um, I thought if I got four, it'd be it'd be nice. But um, two days of rest didn't didn't hurt me. Can, can you talk about last week? What exactly? You probably needed to work on, if anything, from your injury and you know coming back out here. Uh, last week was just kind of a make sure everything's. Uh, I can I can walk the golf course without pain, um, so I checked that one off and I could swing no problem. Um, different lies, different um, different situations, and it, it was fine. Um, so I was very pleased with that. And like I said, I just neglected putting just because my focus was on making sure that I could swing the golf club. Um, but I went to Kentucky. For, for two days and, and got that sorted. So uh, I like where I'm at. Bob on number seven. Did you need to shut it down for a little while after Augusta to sort of, I don't know if recover is the right word, but did you just feel like you needed to reset for, for a few days or a week or whatever the time frame was? Yeah, I, I didn't pick up a club till a week before last week. So uh, I was out in L.A. doing a bunch of rehab. Um, did some rehab, but... It, and at my house, uh, with my physio, Mark, he came down for about a week and then went to maybe a week and a half and then went to um, went to L.A. just to continue rehab for about another week and a half. So, um, yeah, I was busy doing that, and that was kind of my first priority. Otherwise, I wouldn't be, wouldn't be out here. It obviously would have been hard to not play at Augusta, but it, looking back, did it set you back at all by doing that? Or? No, it didn't set me back. I was fine. Um, just for my own satisfaction, I wanted to play. I was determined to do it. That was the goal all along, and um, I was able to do it. Obviously, I didn't play the way I wanted to. Um, you know, it's not fun when you can't do the things you know you're capable of. But um, just to be out there, it was mentally satisfying. Just to be, nobody knows what I went through um, for for those four weeks, three and a half, whatever, four weeks, um, and. You know, every time I was doing something, I just envisioned myself playing at Augusta. Um, I mean, just to, I mean, what was it, like a week and a half in, trying to ride a bike backwards, and, and you can't go around around the cycle. Um, it's, it takes a lot, I guess, a lot of heart just to do it, but that was the goal. Brooks, we're going to zoom out with Mark. Mark, unmute yourself. You're with Brooks Kepka. <laughs> Hey, Brooks, uh, just wondering, you know, after Augusta and, and coming back, you said, uh, you know, the week before last, uh, did you find anything in your golf swing uh, from a compensation standpoint for the knee? No, I mean, there's – when I came back, when I started hitting balls, um, I found that all the way through about 7-iron, I was fine. And then anything above 7-iron, occasionally, I just wouldn't – I'd go to push off my right leg and it wouldn't – there's just nothing there. Um happened a couple times last week but it, it's only with driver um, and it's not it's getting less and less every day I play on it every day I'm doing rehab um, and now it seems that driver is the only club where 
it might do it. And instead of being, you know, one out of every 10 times now, it's like one out of every 20. So um, every day it's getting better and better. Um, and, you know, we'll see where it's at. I'm going to zoom out for one more. Here's Steve. Steve, you're with Brooks. Go ahead. And health related, Brooks, but could I just get your thoughts on the 17th hole? I haven't played it yet. Okay, that's good enough for me. Thanks, big man. <laughs> Terrific. Let's go to uh, number three right here in the front. Brooks, what was the doctor's timeline for you to be healthy? Like 100%? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking probably another six months. Probably. What's your timeline to be 100%? Ahead of that. If I beat that, I'm doing something good. I mean, I can play. It's not, you're never 100%, that's the thing. I mean, for two straight years, it's been left knee, right knee, um, you know, two, or herniated a disc in my neck, you know, played in, in what was it, Tampa or wherever, wherever we were. Um, you know, played through that. You know, I, I dealt with that all the way through Palm Springs. So, I mean, I can deal with the pain. That's not an issue. Um, it's just a matter of being able to hit shots that I want to hit and do things I want to do. And I'm starting to be able to do that, even though I'm not 100%. I can still... I can still hit the shots. You, you talked at Phoenix about being past all of this, being healthy again. How hard has it been to have to be back into this rehab mode? I don't know. It's just just part of the process. Uh, just deal with it one day at a time. I'm not really looking at you know why things happened. Um, not looking at you know getting down on myself. I could, it's one of those things where you just gotta move on and you know try to make every day you know the next day better than the day before. And I've done a good job at it. I don't. I don't think too much of you know, is it gonna if I do this is it gonna be um, painful if not you know you just got to go back to what you've naturally done for 20 some years and if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know if firing off my right side doesn't work sometimes it doesn't um, and it probably for the next month it'll probably be the same I'll still go fire off a driver and it still won't go but um, if it just keeps getting better and better um, you know instead of one out of every 20 it's one out of every 100 um, I'm okay with that Let's go with Damon on 11, please. Brooks, you talked about the mental satisfaction of simply competing at Augusta, knowing what you put your body through. How might that pay dividends for you down the road the next time you're in a tough situation? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we're there. Uh, you know, I went through so much those, those four weeks where out here it's pretty easy. It's easy. All you got to do is play golf. That's not very, not very difficult. That's what I've, I've done for you know, 26 years. So um, makes everything a lot easier, that's for sure. Let's hit up number eight on the far left. Brooks, uh, two years ago tomorrow, you, lost, you, you won your last major, which is not that long a time, but everything you've gone through in this tough two years, does it seem like it's a lot longer? Yeah, every day has been a long day. <laughs> I mean, starting from just the training to the rehab, everything seems to take an hour, hour and a half longer. Um, more attention to detail of what I'm doing, uh, you know, off the golf course, make sure I'm doing, you know, not <laughs> seem to get hurt in a bunch of freaky instances, but it's, it's just one of those things where you just got to move past it and, um, you know, take it one, one day at a time. We're going to go with Ann at number 10. Brooks, did you do anything specifically mentally to keep your spirits up through the whole process? I mean, what do you do to just stay positive? Just spent seven and a half hours with uh, with Heather out in L.A., um, making sure I was doing rehab. That was my only thing. Just every day, I was just trying to make sure, I mean, from getting around on the bike uh, backwards to, okay, let's see if we can go forward on the bike, um, different things like that. But the satisfaction, I mean, there's still not satisfaction. I can't do, I can't run. So, um you know, I'm not where I want to be, but at the same time, I just just keep. It's what I got to deal with, so I just move on. Rex on nine. This isn't anything obviously compared to the walk at Augusta, but are there challenges because of the knee on this particular golf course? Um, no, I don't think so. It's pretty flat. Uh, like I said, it's a million times better, so it makes it um, so much easier. Um, I, I don't foresee any issues. I mean, yeah, I still have days where it's. It sucks. My knee just isn't, it just doesn't feel good waking up, and it's not going to feel good all day. But um, those are getting less and less. Um, but I mean, that that'd be the only instance where I, I see it being being kind of an issue if I just woke up one day and it just 
it's in a bad spot or it just feels terrible. Um, you know, I've had one of those in the last month, so I'll take it. Mr. Alex on six. How much rehab do you do during the day when you're out here? Like on on the road or just like yeah, on the road? On the, when you're at a tournament, you said you do some. You have to do rehab. We were probably doing an hour and a half in the gym, um, and then when I get back, and just the physio table just on the knee alone is probably another hour. So probably two and a half hours devoted to it every day. Does that just obviously when you were healthy that you didn't have to do that? What are you losing? And anything that you might more practice time or anything that you're losing because of that? Just time watching TV or something, just chilling. So I don't do that anymore. Um, look, it's part of it. I'll, I'll give up anything I can do to play and um, to be out here. So that's that's an easy sacrifice to make. Or whether it's just chilling on the couch, um, just talking to everybody at the house, or or doing whatever, um, it's an easy sacrifice to make. Okay, okay that'll wrap it up, Brooks. Sweet. Thank you for finding us and have a terrific week. Best of luck.